Surprise! I'm back, YouTube. It's been a year and it's time to get back into this. I've missed this so much. Sorry for my voice. Listen, you've, I've got all the hot tea for you. Also, as you can tell, my last videos is very different because I no longer live in Kentucky. I now live in Florida and work at the happiest place on earth in Orlando. If you don't know what that is, and it is Walt Disney World. Ooh. Also, this is Lily, guys. Hi, Lily, come here, baby. You'll be seeing a lot of her in my new videos. I, yeah, I wanna get back into this, so let's get started. That's my theme song now. So since moving down here, I've been down here. In 2023, it'll be two years being down here. And I've also updated on how I do my makeup. Also, I got bangs. Look at this, guys. Lily's my service dog, if people don't know. Yep, I got a service dog. Her name is Lily. I love her. She's a psychiatric service dog, so she does a lot of stuff for my anxiety and other mental health. So I think it's very, very important that you take care of yourself. I also feel like it's very, very important that you take care of your mental health as well. It's very, very important. And I think we should talk more about it. I think it's normal. I have PTSD. I have depression. I have anxiety. And so if it wasn't for this knucklehead who is currently licking on my... Um, blankets i don't know what i'd do without her anyways so update i've done my makeup differently now so it's gonna be fun doing this so i now use the anastasia hydrating oil because i was on accutane twice also sorry for the lighting if it's not the best i need to get a new ring light so surprise but anyways i use the hydrating oil because my face is really dry through here here and right through here and it's because i was on accutane for a little bit and it works for me it worked for me not it's it's not for everybody. That is something you speak with your dermatologist with. Anyway, so since then, my skin is a lot more drier than what it used to be. So I do a drop here, here to the sides. Anastasia, the hydrating oil. That's what I used right before. And you just rub it in really well. Oh, I also washed my face before. Obviously, I'm not going to show you that because that's an ugly sight. Make sure it's all in. But I washed my face before for sure. Uh, just a normal like daily cleanser before makeup. Just to help get all the excess dead skin, pores. Make sure they're clean and everything. And then I put the hydrator on just to rejuvenate it a little bit more. And then I go in with my Anastasia Dewy Set Setting Spray. But I also use it as a before, like it's a good like dewy set. It like adds a little bit more of um, hydration to my face. If you already have oily skin, I recommend not doing that, obviously. So adding a little bit so my skin doesn't just take in all the fluids from the liquid foundation so it doesn't look crusty when it's on my face after a while. And it doesn't look like, ugh. It's bad. It's bad, so I'll, this is what I do. Also, I want to just take a big shout out to Claire Bear. Hi, Claire Bear. I love you. So today is the day before Thanksgiving, and so happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. If you don't, happy harvest. Um, that's just a general, like, happy during this time. Claire texted me. She's been re-watching my videos, and I was, I've been thinking about redo it like not redoing but getting back into this and so her doing this texting me made me even more i was like this is it this is i want to go back into it so i love you claire bear this is for you my new foundation that i'm using is the anastasia you're gonna see i use a lot of anastasia beverly hills and it is beverly hills anastasia the lumius foundation right here it's really nice i just do a dollop on my arm as you on my arm, on my hand as you just saw. It's really nice for people with a little bit of oily and dry skin and that's what I have. It's a little dark for me. I haven't got anything new yet, so I apologize. A bit down on my neck. Make sure you get the neck, guys. I see people that just do here and it's so bad. So I always recommend get the neck. Blend it, guys. Good to be back. Travis, I've missed you. I hope you've been doing good. I've already texted you. That is my editor. He is amazing. Um, give him much, much love, guys. If it really wasn't for him, I really wouldn't be doing these. Because, I mean, I can edit, but let's be real. Do you want to see me edit? I'm really happy to be doing this. So, what's been going on with my life? So, about a year ago, I got an email while I was still in Kentucky that I um, am accepted to go back into my college program because my college program got canceled due to covid so i was only down there uh, down here for two months and then i had to go back home next is our foundation oh uh, no we just put our foundation i mean our concealer which is makeup forever this is the matte skin velvet the 24 hour cover um, i think this is 
also Anastasia, if I'm not mistaken. I love this stuff. This stuff is so nice. I'm gonna get me some more because obviously I've used a lot, but I just do a dollop here. It's very matte. So if you're really into matte concealers, the uh, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin, so good. Anyway, going with that beauty blender. So I got a word about that. So I reapplied. I was like, you know what? Let's try it. I would like to go back. I missed a big part of my journey because I didn't get to do that. So then I got the congratulations email two weeks later. So got me a new car because my old one was not reliable and I moved down here. And I've been working here ever since. Uh, my CP college program, I worked at the American Adventure and that's an attraction in um, Epcot. So that was really fun. I met some amazing people. I have been able to be more me since being down here. And I really and truly love Florida. It's very expensive for college people. I'm not even gonna lie. Like if you do the college program, just be prepared. The Flamingo Crossing is very nice. However, it is very expensive. But the thing is they take your rent and everything out of your paycheck so you get everything else. So you don't have to worry about it. It's good for people who have never lived on their own. I have lived on my own. Um, before so it wasn't really anything too new about that if you don't really know anybody you are gonna get set up with random people i actually knew some people from my last program so i was able to room with some of them which i was very very grateful for now i live here with one of my roommates so i lived in flamingo my name is Shalissa. she's amazing after the cp we actually worked together um we worked in america sorry my light hold on let's fix that <laughs> Okay, so my roommate, Jalissa, me and her actually worked together at the American Adventure. That's how we met. And then I ended up moving into where she lived in Flamingos. It's a whole roommate situation. You don't want to get into it. It is very bad. If you want me to talk about it later time, I'll talk about it. But right now, not the priority. I'm trying to think what I want to do next with my eyes. Yeah, me and Jalissa now live here. We have another roommate. His name's Caleb. So me and Jalissa live upstairs. Caleb lives in our second floor or the first floor. Him and Jalissa actually worked together at, after our, our program end, I went to Batu, which is Galaxy's Edge, and I work for Hondo Onaka, the transports company. If you don't know who that is, it is, he is a pirate smuggler, but he claims he's a legitimate company, even though we do smuggling on the side. So it's really fun. It's called Smuggler's Run. I love that ride. I love the people I work with. I love being in Star Wars. I get to live in the moment. It's me being in entertainment without being in entertainment. I just want you guys to look at this. Like, look how nice all this lays on my face. I was like looking at that as we were talking, as I was talking, like you guys were gonna answer me. And it's just so nice, like look at this. But my roommates actually work at Pandora, which is Flight of Passage, which is a very, very, very fun ride. If you've never done it or never seen it, I highly recommend checking it out on YouTube. If you're here or you're gonna come here, I recommend going there. It's so cool. We all three work at a virtual reality almost type ride. So it's literally like very immersive and I love it. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I now live here in my own apartment. So yeah, if you guys want an apartment tour, let me know. I definitely need to get a new ring light. It's trying to flicker around. Anyways, right Lily? We ready? She hates me. For a service dog, she hates me. I have several looks I have idea for this. I have thought about and I have a corner to do my my videos. I it's just y'all, I've been in this apartment since July and I still have stuff on my She's a crackhead. I'm so sorry. I have a table in the corner over here that I could use, but it's covered in stuff and I really need to fix that. But anyways, we're gonna go with the Morphe palette. Such a gem, the 39S. This is one of my favorites. So yeah, we're gonna go in this. We're gonna do some cute little pink purple eyeshadow. Roll it today. If you see me looking over my shoulder, my stuff is all on my bed. So I'm gonna move it closer. But yeah, how are you guys? How are you doing? How's life? Like, has it been good to you? Um, I know we're all still getting normal from COVID and everything. So like, how are you? How are we, we making it? I feel like I'm making it ish if i'm making it we're gonna go in first with decent af if you know what af means great for you for other people it's absolutely fabulous this one right here she's looking at my remote control for the tv where you put that unlike bourbon i miss you bourbon if you ever see this she's more quiet so you're probably never gonna hear her unless she jumps off the bed and goes crazy we're actually gonna make this just go all over our eyes like this this is just our neutral color, our neutral base. It's such a pretty little color. Okay, 
Okay, so after we get this cute little pink base, we're gonna go into it with a darker color. As you know, my last videos, I always like to accentuate my arch because it makes my eyes bigger. I like having big eyes. I feel like my eyes is one of my favorite things on my face. So I'm gonna accentuate that and I'm gonna go in with a darker color. And I'm gonna go in with, okay, before you say it's dirty, it's not dirty, it's just stained because I use a lot of dark brown colors. But anyways, we're going in with a pointier, almost like, I just threw that on the ground. As you can tell, I am rusty. So we're gonna be using this type of brush, which is the Morphe, it doesn't say. Anyways, it's a more of a little pointer brush. It's good to go in and you're just gonna go in. And I like to go a little bit inside in the corner here and then go back up into, and that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna just do that type of motion like this on both eyes. And we're gonna go in with a little bit of why not. And that's tempting, which was right here. So I'm gonna mix both of these. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a... Uh, like that. I'm not a makeup artist if I don't. I feel like I'm a conductor. I'm like, like Sebastian from The Little Mermaid. R.I.P. to the voice actor. May he rest in peace. That makes me really sad. Anyways, are we excited for the new Little Mermaid? I definitely am. I'm here for, uh, is it Halle, Halle Berry? Halle Berry. I'm ready for her. I saw the, if you guys not seen the trailer, check it out. I, I love the Little Mermaid. Ariel was my favorite growing up. She was my favorite princess. However, as I got older, I fell in love with Tiana because I love the work ethic. Like I relate in the work ethic, how hard she wants something so bad. And then she has to work so hard to do it. And it, it just feels like it's never gonna happen. And I relate. Like I relate so hard to that because like I always feel like I'm always working for something and it's, not, it's never coming out the way I want it to. And you know, if you just work hard enough, it's going to. You're gonna blend all this out. Ah, oh, iconic. Y'all, I'm thinking I'm gonna do a drag queen makeup. I wanna become a drag queen. Anybody can become a drag queen. If you wanna become a drag queen, become a drag queen. If I was a drag queen, my drag name would be Mo Money, and it's gonna be all together like M O. M, well, capital M, O, capital M, O, N, E, Y, Mo Money. And baby Momo for short. Dylan, you wanted something. If you had a drag name, what would your drag name be? Like, I'm curious. I love drag queens. If you don't already know this, welcome to the party. So we're gonna go in with Oh Yes, which is this pink right here. I like this pink, I really do. However, I feel like it is very sheer, is what I'm trying to say. And so you're gonna go here, and you're just gonna fill it over. I know guys, I'm not doing the cut crease. I'm not feeling the cut crease, guys. I apologize. So you're gonna give it a little look like this. It's not gonna go on the actual arch, it's just your actual lid. Take the center and you move it over. Come on, I gotta see what the, it looks like with the shade because the lighting's more on this side than it is on this side. I think it's a cute little going out or you could be just like a subtle look. Well, it's definitely not subtle, but it's a definitely good like going out or like you can go out on the night with it. You could just go out. Like it don't really matter. Like hey, Lily, come here. So Lily is a mini golden doodle. She is three years old. She is my baby. Look at her. She needs to get a haircut. So um, don't look at her too hard. After that's done, I'm gonna go in with my bomb browns full in fluffy. I can't read properly. So if I said that wrong, I'm so sorry. But this is just for a natural eyebrow, which I'm not great with eyebrows, so I just like to fill them in. I am learning, and obviously this journey is on this channel for everybody, so the day I do my eyebrows and it's gonna be rough, we're all gonna laugh at it together. I can't wait. I thought about doing blue eyeshadow today. So fun fact, I'm drawing this one out a little bit more because this one is longer than this one and poofier, it has more shapes. So, I have to remind myself, they're sisters, not twins. So, thank goodness for my hair to be parted on this side, so if it looks bad, you can never tell. It's only this one you're gonna see. I was gonna do some contour, but I 
think I'm gonna do more of a natural look. So we're gonna go in with Summer of Love by one of my favorite dry queens, Trixie Mattel from Trixie Mattel Cosmetics. I love her. So this is her blush palette, which is Side Chick, Girl on Girl, and After School Special. So we're actually gonna use Girl on Girl with a tad bit of Side Chick because Side Chick is very, very, I love this palette. It's my favorite blush palette. So you're gonna tap a little bit more here and tap a little bit here. Not too much, cause like I said, it is very pigmented. I like to do my blush up this way cause I feel like it makes your cheekbones go a little higher even without contour. Follow your natural smile, like whatever lifts. There's your cheek and then you go up and then you go here and blend it out. Make sure it's all like one fluid. It's not like just like a circle and you're like, ooh, I'm gonna do it on the other side. This looks a little bit more pivoted, but like I said, it's a lot, it's the shadowing because the lighting's more on this side. So I like to just use my finger, dab it up, see if I can take some of any excess, make sure from both, make sure it's very much blended in. Since I really wasn't doing anything crazy, I am gonna do a little bit, like a fun little subtle, um, uh, Words are hard. Did you watch my brain think and then flatline? Cause I definitely felt that. Highlighter, we're gonna go with After School Special and we're gonna go in with our, it's my Morphe, I love Morphe. Highlighter brush and you just do it right on top of your cheekbones. You can go here. I like to go right underneath where my eyebrows are and go like that. So it gives it a little bit of a shine, see? very much very just a little subtle nothing too crazy but enough to make people are like oh that's really cute and it's got a little bit of a pink touch to it as well so i really like it um i don't use a like too much when i do highlighters i usually dab or i do a little rotate but i'm dabbing at the same time so i'm not taking too much but just enough to subtly make a cute little look here don't forget the nose don't forget your Cupid's bow right there. And then I like to do a little bit on my chin. But our highlighter's done, our eyeshadow's done. What we're not done is the fact that we still have to do, oh, one fun thing. Actually, I'll be right back. Pause, because I forgot something. When do I not forget something? Lily, entertain us. No, you're not supposed to follow me. You're the entertainment. All right. Ooh, so now I just thought I remembered this. I'm gonna do this little thing. Do this little cute little thing. If you wanna do it, great. You can use it with almost anything. Well, let me phrase that. Any type of like body glitter, glitter that is just freestanding. I have something right here and it's aggravating me. That being said, I have this, uh, it's called Love Child. It's hair and body glitter. It's also from Trixie's Cosmetics. Please check out Trixie Cosmetics. I support her. She is a small business. I love her. Um, she's a great drag queen, but I like to do this sometimes with this type of look. You can do this going out. You can just do it just out of the town. If you just, we can finish the look here. But before we do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So let's just say you want to add a little something. Let's say your highlighter is just not enough and you want to do a little something. What we're going to do is go in and dab a little bit of your eyelash glue. Right there. Right there in the corner of your eye. Then you're going to grab your tweezers. Lily, if you make me spill this, I will fight you. All right, you get your tweezers and then... It fell in the arms of an angel. All right, so obviously I didn't use my tweezers. I used my finger, but it's a little hard. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little hard. And then you just put it there, and then I'm gonna do another one. And then I'm gonna do like at least four. That's a really big job, but you know what? I know where it's at. Listen, sometimes I have to use my finger. I use my fingers, sometimes I use my tweezers, whatever is easier, but right now these things are sticking to my finger. See, look how cute that is. You can put as many as you want. You can put two, three, four. It just depends on the look, where you want it. Shh. Ta-da, look how cute. I wanna try to do it as like freckles. I haven't achieved that yet, but like I said, we might try it on this channel. It'll definitely be something fun to do. And we're gonna, now we're gonna do the other side. I'm only gonna do three.
listen, I know they're not really even, but you know what? They're sisters, not twins. That's what I tell myself. Little accents to the sides. I think it looks really cute. This one obviously is a little closer and down. This one is not. But again, it's not supposed to be perfect. It's just a cute little thing. Now we're gonna do our, I've gotten better. Eyelashes. I still need to work on my eyeliner. That's why I'm not gonna do any eyeliner. But I like to use the Kiss um, eyelashes that look so natural. Sometimes I like they're like a little bit bigger, but right now we're just gonna go with a natural look. Nothing crazy. We didn't really go any crazy on this look. Hope you've had fun. I feel like a little, like, cute little, like, I was gonna say strawberry shortcake, but, and fun fact, this, my brain just went there. Have you guys ever, like, um, smelled, like, artificial strawberry? Like, the smell, like, like, lip gloss and stuff. That straw, type of strawberry, disgusting. Like, when I used to have strawberry shortcake, like, the doll as a kid. I literally did not like strawberry shortcake smell. That was disgusting. I like the real fresh strawberry smell, okay? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna close our eyes. Go as close as you can to your lash line. Boom, let it sit there for a second. And then mascara. A little over, but it's fine. It's not perfect. Okay, that's much better. Time to do the other one. Glad I got some more eyelash glue because this one's a little wonky. Perfect. Yep. Nope. Go in with our mascara. Make sure it's on there. Obviously, this one is not. You remember when I did this for the first time, guys? That was rough. Here I am saying I'm better at it. I've gotten better and it's still looking rough. You know what? It's all right. Ow. It's always this eye. It's always my right eye that gives me issues, and I don't know why. Oh, the eyelash over here is trying to come off. Oh, hold on. I will fix it. Let me just get this on here. I love this new saying, and it is, I hate it here. I don't. It's just, I don't know why I say it. I just do, randomly. I should have done this a little closer, but it's all right. From before, you look great. From up close, uh, you know what? You know what? We're here. You know, it's my first time doing this again. Oh, the eye. Just filming in general, I'm a, look, I'm a little rough. I literally just rubbed mascara all over my leg. It's fine, I'm fine. Still looking cute though, that's all that matters. Now we're gonna go with our lipstick as the finishing touch. I thought about going straight with another pink since that's our vibe, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna do with a nude, but I think I'm gonna go with the pink because you know what, we're, we're very pinky today, so let's do it. This is from Fenty Beauty Lipstick. I really like it, it's called Unlock. Only thing I have against this is that it leaks really easy, like around your lips. So if you're not careful, it'll get all over the place. And when you eat and drink stuff, sometimes if it, if it doesn't, because it doesn't really matte up, which I don't like, because I literally like matte. Cause I want my lips to stay looking nice, but I like it. You know what I mean? It's like a love hate relationship. I love the applicator. So I feel like with these lips, I feel like Marilyn Monroe, like Ooh, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Am I right, ladies? All right, I think we're finished. I'm gonna go in with my setting spray. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. How we doing, how we feeling? I feel like it looks really good. Um, it's a little rough, it's a little rough to get here, but we look good. I hope everyone's doing good. If you guys want a, an apartment tour, let me know. Like, love, um, subscribe. Don't be my eyelash and try to fall off, okay? Be better, be better than my eyelash, okay? Bye guys, I really enjoyed this. Uh, my dog's gonna start running away now, so bye. Nee 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 nee